Hello and welcome to my latest Yankee Candle video and I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to bring you um, first sniff thoughts of the brand new collection from Yankee Candle for autumn 2020. Now these scents are designed I think to take us through from late summer through early autumn into the deepest uh, parts of autumn and I'm very excited about them. I've had a quick sniff already and they are right up my alley. Those who know me and follow what I've been burning and stuff like that over the years will know that autumn for me is my favourite season of the year. I love the colours, the smells, the atmosphere. Love Christmas as well. Can't say I don't like the other seasons, but autumn is my favourite season of the year. And I love the smells of autumn. And Yankee Candle, once again, have managed to capture that fantastic autumnal atmosphere in these scents. Now, there's something woodsy. This, this collection is called Campfire Treats. So it's something, it's all about kind of um, getting around the campfire with friends and family and enjoying those kind of slightly warmer evenings um, and there's a definite woodsy thing going through all of these candles i've noticed this through sniffing them there's a definite woodsiness and you'll see that when i come to talk about the notes and stuff in a minute so i'm going to go through them one at a time as i normally do in no particular order although i've, I've kind of thought about it let's go with pecan pie bites now i wasn't sure i wasn't sure that i was going to like this one now this one has got a, a kind of one of those kind of foodie pictures of a, a little kind of cake with um, nuts in it on the front, which I suppose is supposed to be the, the pecan pie bites. Um, I'm not the biggest foodie fan, and I was thinking, okay, I might quite like this one. I don't mind nutty ones, but I wasn't sure if I was going to love it. So let's have a sniff. And it's not what I'd expect at all. For me, I would describe this as a foodie scent for people that don't like foodie scents. So it... It suits me, but I think the foodie type people will like it as well. It's um, it's earthy and fresh as well as being foodie. So it's got it's got that sweetness to it, but it's not a cloying sweetness. But it's got a freshness, and I'll start by saying I'm going to say this so many times. It's got a woodsiness to it as well. So um, it's very nice. It's not overly sweet. And it's just elegant. It reminds me a bit of a cut of it. It's got lots of, it's got that kind of honeyed feel to it. So let's have a look at Pecan Pie Bites. I will give you the description. So it's the scent of miniature pastries just right for sharing with a sweet, sorry, a sweetly spiced filling that's loaded with the scent of toasted pecans. So, oh, I pulled the uh, lovely Campfire Nights label off there. That will go eventually, but... Oh, I'm not going to spend half an hour doing that. There we go, something else to look at. <laughs> so, yeah, that nuttiness is there. As I say, it's got that kind of caramelised honey feel to it, but not overly sweet. So let's have a look at the notes of this one. Cinnamon leaf, burnt sugar and raw honey on top. I love the smell of honey. Burnt sugar is great. So it's not it's not that kind of sweety, sicky sugar. You somehow, again, there's a few Yankee candles I'm not too keen on. I won't talk about your angel's wings that have got that kind of sweety, yucky sugariness to them. This has got the burnt sugar. You can smell that. So it's all about the kind of the cooking and the fires and stuff like that. We've got white hazelnut, pecan and dark chocolate in the middle. I can't normally go anywhere near a chocolate candle, but that doesn't affect me with this one. It's just beautiful. And clove, oakwood and smoked cedar in the base. That's what I love. Those are my, those are my kind of ingredients. I love clove. I love woodsiness. So it's a nutty, woodsy, you could, it's not just about the eating the cakey treats, it's the nuts coming down from the trees in the autumn as well. It's a very clever scent, and I'm very surprised to say that I really do like pecan pie bites. So there we go, that's the first one. I, as you can tell, my enthusiasm is running away with me. I'm very excited about these. Now we go, we, even, we step up even better here with warm and cosy, and I just love the label on this. You've got a couple of people sitting in front of a... Uh, roaring outdoor fire, enjoying that kind of early... I think they're toasting marshmallows. Yeah, they are toasting marshmallows on the fire outside, and it's a beautiful label. A lovely wax colour. It's that kind of sandy brown wax colour, that uh, late summer, early autumn feel really captured in it. And, oh, wow. So excited to know. This is... This is wonderful. This is... Uh, again, just talking about Yankees of the past, cosy sweater, the cashmere ones, all that kind of thing. But this might even be the best one yet. It's just so snuggly. It's got that woodsiness. It's got the slight touch of the burnt feel to it. But it's also got a surprising, medicinal is the wrong word. It's got a slightly wintry quality to it as well. 
So there's the coldness there, but with a warmth enveloping underneath. So let's have a look at the um, description of this one. It's a beautiful bonfire night, ends wrapped up in a soft blanket as you breathe in crisp, fresh notes of cedar, cashmere and eucalyptus. So it's that eucalyptus that gives it that fresh burst. And you can see that's in the top notes. You've got, um, where are we? Balsam, peppermint and eucalyptus. So that gives it that slightly... Oh, it feels a bit cold, you know, that, that kind of cold touch up front. But underneath that, you've got cashmere, cedarwood and golden amber just wrapping you up in that warmth through the middle of the candle. Going into the base, we've got patchouli, lit firewood and musk. I mean, ah, oh, there's the fire. Those embers are just underneath, touching that warm, that amber. Those of you who can remember Yankee Candle Scent, where they've done that amber so well in the past, that's in there. It's just the most snuggly warm cozy fragrance ever i really like this i really like that one warm and cozy and i think it smells like it's going to be a reasonable throw of that one but time will tell we'll see so there we go that's number two that's another me sorry it's gotta go <laughs> okay now we go on to crisp campfire apples and for those of you i know some of you look at milk cups and stuff like that you enjoy your centerpiece this one is coming out in all the usual formats, plus a milk cup as well. The other ones are just coming out in all the jar sizes, votives and tea lights. You get a milk cup of crisp campfire apples. This one has got camp, uh, apples kind of grilling in a frying pan on an outdoor fire there. Um, quite an unusual wing, so a fried apple look to it. And, and a lovely, of course, that deep autumnal ripe red apple feel to the wax colour there. So it's not just apple by any means. It's not just apple again. That earthy woodsiness is there. I've said this before about some Yankee candles. It's almost got like a polished warmth to it. It's got um, a slight sweetness, the citrus in there. It's just kind of definitely more late autumn, early winter. Real cozying up apple fragrance, this one. I think it's going to be very popular. Even more so than the apple one that came out last year. This one really does the, does the job, I think. Crisp Campfire Apples. So let's have a look at that one. Crisp Campfire Apples is the scent of freshly picked apples cooking over the fire in the crisp night air. So all of those elements are present in here. The crisp night air is captured in that kind of... And again, you've got that kind of smoky burned feel about all of these. I really like it. The notes of crisp uh, campfire apples are apple, clove and mandarin leaf. So that's that citrus note that I picked up there in the top. In the mid notes of this one, we have cinnamon stick and oak leaves. So that's that kind of late autumnal, almost Christmassiness coming from the cinnamon and oak leaf. There's the start of the woodsiness coming through and it's based by Tonka and Blonde Woods. So just divine. It's, so as I say, the apple is there, but it's a really rich, polished, grilled, woodsy, divine apple smell, crisp campfire apples. And of course, last but not least, is a night under the stars. I just love the label of this. It's very subtle but it's a starry clear sky through fir trees there and a lovely dark blue wax color. I like all these labels actually, they're a bit of a step up to these ones, um, but that one particularly. So you, I guessed from this, I was already thinking it's gonna be one of those fresh after shavy midsummer night like candles that I love. So I was very excited to try this and it doesn't disappoint at all. Ah, but it, the, the amazing thing about this one is it's quite different. Again, it's got an earthy woodsiness to it, but it also smells, it's not rainy, but it's got a kind of, it's got a kind of dampness to it. So if it's kind of like if you go out, in, even though you've got a clear starry night in the autumn, you're going to have that kind of dewy, damp feel to it. So it doesn't quite smell of rain, but there's a definite watery earthiness to this one. And again, that lovely aftershaviness. This will go all year. You could you could have this one on a clear starry night any time of the year. But of course, it's coming out for the late summer and early autumn, so that's going to be the initial thing that kind of hits you, and I'm sure that's when people will start planning it. It's absolutely lovely. Let's have a look at this one in more detail. We have a night under the stars. It's a woody, spicy fragrance that sparkles with a constellation of rose, leather, and driftwood. How unusual. I said from at the start, it's nothing quite like, though it's in the ballpark of some of those other kind of rich, evocative, aftershave-like scents, it's kind of all of its own in this one. The top notes of A Night Under the Stars are leather, spice and driftwood. 
So that kind of rich, um, aftershavey, leather, spice and drip. Those are kind of the notes you'd expect in a man's aftershave up front there. Then you've got clothes, saffron and rose in the middle. How amazing is that? Saffron, I just love. I loved vibrant saffron that came out from Yankee. One of the most expensive ingredients in the world, saffron. Uh, clove again and rose. The rose just gives it that outdoor freshness. It's so delicate. You can pick it out. It's so clever the way it's blended in there. And the base notes, we have frankincense, patchouli and cedarwood. So there's that kind of um, real, you know, wintry depth to it there with the frankincense and patchouli. Uh, and the woodsiness, again, it underpins it all. That's the theme going through this collection for me, is it's an outdoor woodsy feel to it. It's a wonderful campfire. Night. I love that one. So there we go. Very impressive collection from Yankee Candle. I hope you enjoy these and you'll share your thoughts with me either on my YouTube channel or on Team Yankee. Um, we'll be talking about these a lot, I'm sure, over the next few months. So Peak and Pie Bites, let's have a quick recap. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's just lovely, the honey and the woodsiness and the, a freshness to it that's really surprising, and I really like that one. Warm and cosy, absolute heaven on earth. Could be the best kind of cozying up scent Yankee Candle I've ever done. Uh, uh, oh, do you know what? That's just reminded me a little bit. Uh, people who remember Golden Sands. An autumnal version of Golden Sands, perhaps. It's that amber in there that, that, that just came into my mind. Crisp campfire apples. That kind of a polished, highly polished apple smell. Deep and citrusy and woodsy and just amazing. Very unusual. And slight that burnt crispiness too. Absolutely divine. And the incredible Night Under the Stars. Ah, oh, it's fresh. It's rose. It's woodsy. It's just incredible. A Night Under the Stars is going to be a real favourite for me and I'm sure for lots of other people too. So really love these. Fantastic autumn collection. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with another video soon.